Hi boys and girls. It's so great to see you over here at Mrs. Nab's Reading Corner again. I hope that you're doing well this week with working on distinguishing your point of view from that of the authors while you're reading the text selected for you for comprehension this week. Remember to think about all the different ways that we can look at the per author's perspective. We can look at the title, we can look at the words in the first paragraph and the last paragraph. We can also read and collect and connect all those ideas to help us look at the information that's in our text from the author's point of view. I hope also that you're remembering to use your relax strategy as you're working on your questions and your answer choices. Remember, it's very important that we take our time as we're reading those questions, boys and girls, and go back in the passage to help find the evidence to support those answers. Make sure you X out those wrong answers and we take our time to evaluate everything that we've read. Today, boys and girls, I'm very excited to review another strategy that you have worked with all year long with your teachers. It's the strategy of looking at the illustrations, photographs, or the images that the author has included in the text to help us come up with understanding. So today, boys and girls, I have brought a math problem with us into the reading classroom. I know, math and reading, who would have thought? But boys and girls, when you're using the strategy of looking at the illustrations and the words on the text, those two things combined can help us understand what it is that we are reading. So we wanna make sure that we use the pictures plus the words to gain understanding. And pictures can be a variety of things, boys and girls, in our text. We can look at the photographs, we can look at the images, we can look at timelines, we can look at colored illustrations too to help us understand what it is that we're reading. Not only do we wanna look at the were the pictures that are on the page, we also want to look at the words that the author has provided to help us understand what it is we're reading. So we're going to continue looking at the text that I have, The Sun is kind of a big deal, to practice this strategy so that you can practice it with the text that you have at home. So boys and girls, I have here in our text a picture first we're going to look at. And if you notice, boys and girls, this picture of the sun is very large. And it is showing that he is holding something in his two fingers. Now we all know, boys and girls, that the sun doesn't have arms, but this is a little way to show you that in nonfiction text, the author may choose to use illustrations to help readers understand about a nonfiction topic. So let's look at and listen to the words that are on the page, and then let's look at the pictures and see how they support. The sun is the biggest thing in the solar system. It is even bigger than Earth. Way bigger, way, way bigger, like over a million times bigger. So when we look at this picture, boys and girls, you can see right here, this is the sun, and believe it or not, this little thing that he is holding, boys and girls, is the earth. And the, look at that. This is the perspective that the author is trying to show how big the sun is compared to the earth. And it's showing that he's so tiny in his little hand by showing that he's holding the earth like it's a little microscopic piece of dirt. And when I go back in the text, I can read that it says way bigger, way, way bigger, like over a million times bigger. So when I reread that section and I look here at this, the size of the sun versus the size of the earth, that right there shows me and helps me understand just the magnitude of the difference in size between the sun and the earth themselves. You can even see the earth is saying, ow, it burns. This is why I keep my distance. And what the earth is referring to is how far we are away from the sun because it is so large. So the illustrator did a great job of representing and showing us how much bigger the sun is than the earth. 
So without this illustration and perhaps just the words, myself as a reader and you as a reader, we would not be able to visualize exactly how big the sun is compared to the earth. So it's very important, boys and girls, that when we are reading, we use everything on the page that is an illustration and the words together to come up with understanding. And boys and girls, you may even have something that may look like this, where it's speech bubbles along the way. This is information that you should be reading as the reader to help you plus the words come up with understanding. We don't wanna leave anything on a page that's not read. So the text that you have for this week, you wanna make sure that you are looking at all the illustrations as well as the words that are on the page to help understand what it is the author is trying to tell us. We also want to remember that when we are looking at things from the author's point of view, we want to look at what they've included about the topic to help us come up with why the author may have chosen to write, write this topic or why the author chose to include an illustration or a timeline or a photograph. That helps us better understand what it is we are reading. Boys and girls, we also want to make sure as you're answering your questions, questions this week, you want to make sure that you continue to practice the relax strategy. Remember, the relax strategy, we read the question, we evaluate every answer, we look for proof, we go back in that text, don't forget. We always check our work and we X out the answers that do not make sense. Don't let those distractors trick you and read very carefully. Boys and girls, it was so great to see you again today. I look forward to seeing you again soon, and I hope that you take some time to read a special book and enjoy that book for your own independence. And I hope that you have a great rest of your week, and I will see you soon. Thank you.